Hey everyone, so I know with 425 coming out, this has been super hotly requested to show how to hook up a DMX fixture inside Unreal. So I'm gonna try and show you guys in the quickest way possible. I'm gonna do it live stream style, so if there are some errors, I apologize. I will try to make up for it in the comments or something. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is make sure all your plugins are enabled. So you only need the engine and protocol for DMX itself, but we're gonna use the fixtures, so you wanna enable that as well. Uh, you'll need to restart the engine. Once you come back in, you'll wanna to go to the project settings, scroll all the way down to this DMX plugin. Make sure this interface ID is set if you need it to be. Uh, zero, four zeros, we'll just pick the default one, which is fine for right now, but if you have multiple NICs, you may need to specify it. The other thing we'll need to set for this specifically if we're using fixtures inside the engine is this game instance class. It's usually set to game instance, we need this one. If you don't have it set, it will give you an error, but some people just don't know where to find that. Uh, the next thing you'll want to see is this engine uh, content tree. So if you don't see that, go to view options, show engine content, and then we'll have this DMX fixture content for later. So next we're going to add our actual DMX library. I'm just going to call it lib1. And when I open that up, you'll see I already have DMX showing. I've actually got a CAMSYS uh, Magic Q PC running, so it's actually sending data already. And I'm using universes uh, like 1 through 10. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a controller. I'm gonna call it artnet1. And I'm gonna set this IP of the controller. So this is for input or output, depending on what you're doing. Uh, you can set the node that it's sending to or the input that you're looking for. Uh, the universe start is one. I'm gonna use, let's just say 10 universes. I'm not using artnet0 because I find it confusing. So I'm gonna use one and then I'm gonna save this. So the next thing we need to add some fixtures. We support GDTF imports, so I'm going to pick one fixture that I know works, which is this Sharpie fixture. And then I'm also gonna use this generic RGB and show you something, um, kind of how this can lead to maybe a problem that can be easily fixed. So I'll save this, uh, and then we'll go back and we'll add our fixture. So the first one is gonna be the Sharpie. Oop. Right. Sharpie. And I'm gonna pick the fixture that went, um, the GGF that went with it. You can see the two modes, standard vector, and use standard. Uh, and I'm also gonna add an RGB. And we're gonna pick this guy. So this guy actually has four channels because it has a dimmer channel included. My campsis patch, however, does not. So to fix this, I'm literally just going to delete that function. So now I'll still have R, G, and B, and everything should be good. Next thing I'm gonna do is go to the patch. I'm gonna add the fixture. So I'm gonna add the Sharpie. If you name it nicely first, it will auto increment a lot nicer as you go along. Uh, and it will actually auto assign addresses as you go. You can change the mode here if you want, but I'm using standard, so it's fine. Then I'm gonna add my RGBs. I know that they're in a different universe and they actually don't start at one for me. So I'm gonna turn off this auto channel assign. I know it starts at 65 because I checked it earlier. Um, and then if I wanted to add another one, I'm actually gonna get a little error telling me that, hey, something's weird here. Um, it's because it's double, triple patched right now. But after the first one, I can turn this auto assign on and then it will increment after that. This checkbox is just telling you, are you using auto assign or not? Uh, so I'll save that and I'll go back to my project. So to get the fixtures in here, you literally just go to the fixture content and just drag them in. So I'm gonna grab this moving head and I'm gonna grab the static fixture. First time you do it, it will say compiling shaders. That's totally normal. Um, but the next step is to actually assign these to match what's inside the patch in here. You do that through this DMX component, which should be attached to them. It may look like this to start with. Just drag this down. Click on this, pick the library, pick the patch. So that's our Sharpie. Then this one, pick the library and pick the patch. That should be good to go. So now when I enter play mode, I sh I'm gonna get this. If I go and bring up my campsis and I go full and I can play around with this, we match the color wheel, so that should actually work. Uh, if you go here, tilt works, that's awesome. But if I go to my RGB uh, fixture, it's not doing anything. And the reason for this is because there's a naming difference between what the Unreal fixture is expecting, which is color one, two, and three. 
and what's actually in this library that we saw earlier, which is color add R, G, and B. So I'm gonna take this and just copy and paste it over here and make it match. So I'm gonna do R, G, and B, All right? Simple enough. Now when I go and enter play mode, I should get this thing. If I put this at full and do this, everything works as expected. It will do color you know, mixing if I can do the wheel correctly, right? Everything is working nicely as expected, which is cool. Um, so that's kind of just a couple of things that uh, I wanted to make sure people kind of got a chance to, to see, um, you know, what are the actual pieces to uh, assign and what needs to happen. So general, generally speaking, if you're having a problem, in the order I would check things is make sure the plugins are on, of course. Uh, this default game instance, if it's incorrectly set, if it's just set to game instance, uh, when you hit play, you're going to get this. It's not going to work. So you need to make sure that that is set to BP underscore. Uh, the next thing I would check is if you have multiple cards, you may actually need to specify this. It doesn't actually hurt anything if you do specify it, um, but sometimes you will have an issue with that. And the next thing is to just actually make sure that these names, your attribute function names, actually match what you're doing in here uh, 100%, otherwise they will not uh, control because this is just literally doing a lookup to try and find the name that matches it. So hopefully that should answer some of the questions that we've been having, um, at least as far as how to just generally get things set up. Um, some additional things to maybe look at is on these fixtures, you can actually toggle on and off whether you want to cast shadows, uh, do occlusion, you can dress the ranges of things um, because these are just grabbing them verbatim, um, but it, it may not be accurate and may not have anything to do with the actual fixture you're using. These are just like proxy, like demo fixtures. Um, these all refer to tables. So the color wheel is only works for the, the one for right now, but you could obviously rearrange it, make your own, make your own structs for all these things um, and expand these fixtures in any way that you see fit. So hopefully this will help answer some of the questions and once we get some demo, uh, demo content and docs out, that should hopefully fill in the rest of the gaps. Thanks, and uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think.